Hey, my Tusk01 here, and welcome back to RFL. It's a funny thing, yeah. The shop lady was like all. When uh, we actually went back to, to find her to get some new stuff, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I'm, well, I know why in my zone, but that's not really important. Do um, you want to buy something? And we're like, uh, okay. So I got some new digs, so it seems like this guy is really meant to have all equipment that just boosts everything just a little bit. So he's gonna be more rounded, but he's not gonna really be a specializing type character, which kinda sucks. Hey! He's people, not stones, peoples. <clears throat> and I'd like to know why it's so full of uninvited guests. Lita, hey! What's up, Dad? Whoa! I thought you were gonna be in the hunting area. Yep, yep. Nope, nope. It's your. It's you got the ring. You took it. It's your fault. But whatever. We're okay. Oh, Lady Circus Salad. The thank. <clears throat> Yep, you're welcome. Don't worry. I recognize this medical disturbance in a cast some magic to protect us, so uh, yeah. It's cool it worked. And you are an excellent question. Uh er, 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 your Aroma. Introduce us. I'm Lord Aroma, the, the Temple of Orlane, and Lady Salad, Barman, Bacon, and I have come to to place, see its defense, to make sure it can withstand vampires and the blood forest and things that are just going terribly wrong because of the elven curses. Then at the arch competition, we we, we saw you, li, li, Banana, with uh, artifact of power from the elves, and when people got all gray and stony, we had to come here. Ugh, I'm brewing. Don't mind me. It it dawned on me that I had an old friend with fear about all this. It seems he was he was right. It was lovely to see you again, Doran. I see you're still wearing that ridiculous turban. It is not ridiculous. It is called style, and I have my own. It is great. If you've come here to insult my choice of headwear, then go away. I have purple eyes. And true, uh, to be honest, uh, we hope that you might be able to tell us what's kind of going on. You know more about the elf stuff than anyone here, and uh, yeah, it's a result of elf magic. I may have something to say, yet it's uh, little. It yet it's it is Lita's tale that you should peer first. She, vi she was visited by an elf, and shortly all this stuff happens. Oh good, another kink in the chain. Eh, Dorn, I don't suppose you have anything, anything to drink in this place? If you mean wine, I left in Norlane. Figures. An elf spear, you say? What does that mean exactly? It means a ghost that was once in a bag of meat that was an elf. If you'll pardon me just being blunt, did you just didn't imagine it? I'm not sure. I'm just I I'm not just dreaming all this. But the person who said she was an elf spirit spoke to me. And why there? <clears throat> Her uh, people were cursed, and their fellow's dying. She didn't tell me what that meant, though. She called this thing Dean's Ring and told me to take it to Harry, Harry, the ruins in the Blood Forest. 
She said the same thing would happen to Aloria and that happened to her people. But I'll get the power to break the curse at the ruins. Tried to give her the ring back to her, but she wouldn't take it. She said uh, it was mine, and so it's power, whatever. There's, al uh, there's also a ghost boy about the necklace telling the same thing. I have the power of story mode, but I said no. Well, fuck. Brood. Get a brood. Just clearly talking about stone cursed. It's a curse, and people are turning to stone. And however it went, it was meant to be vampires. But yeah, it was. Ju it's just a, just an idea. So we thought that the people of apples are statues. It seems that it could be true. It's too early to say anything for certain. The stone curse in every ruins did rings. I've heard that airy, but I don't know why anything in the forest of interest would be located there. I have books and all of these subjects around here somewhere. I say we begin reading and decide what to do next. Well, we know more what to do about it. Uh, I'm just gonna say the same thing twice, kinda. Salad, take Lita to my room, and she can sleep. The rest of us, uh, we'll take shifts. She gets to sleep, and I have to read. Yes. Well, it seems like you've lucked out. Come with me, girl. Yay. Don't understand what's happening, ma'am. Thank you for saving my papa, my potato. Just call me salad. And I was bored. It was more accidental than anything, but I'm glad I was able to spare him. Get some sleep, girl. I like her. <clears throat> Stupid ring. I guess I could go downstairs and dock with her before I get to bed. I'm not really sleepy yet. Is this important? Looks somewhat? No. No. Cool. Because already the point of return when everybody turned to stone, literally. Hey, Mr. Brew Man. Nothing? Alright. Many questions. Yeah. <clears throat> How do you endure now? See, we do. He studied history of the Temple of Orlane. In fact, he and Sari Kesu were both students of mine once. So you're, oh, so you're older than them? You're like a teacher? Uh, Sari studied magic and mastered the art of sorcery. Dorian took a different path and eventually led him to leaving the temple. It was a painful time for all of us. Uh, Dora and I were close friends once, and he was even closer to Sari. He was a pursuit of his own research, and that was the last time we ever saw him. This is the first time we've spoken in many years. Dora, not sleepy yet? I don't know. My head is spinning. I don't think I can sleep. Thank you for letting me stay here, though. I regret that there is so little I can offer you here, but anything I can... I live, but anything I can do to make you feel better, I will. I was wondering, actually, you are always playing that harp. I've seen you, uh, play around with Aloria with it. I'm something of a bard these days. People will tip me a few coins for a song or a good story. I've always loved the harp, and it has allowed me to earn a living while I travel RFL. Is it rude if I ask you why you travel around so much? No, not rude, but it is. A uh, rather long story and sordid tale. One for another time. I travel out of the and research of its past. Lore, old elven manuscripts, artifacts from ruins. I survived with my heart, but my one true love has always been history. That is the part of why Lord Arm... Armony? 
and his party came to find me, there are things I've written that may come in handy while well, dealing with this crisis. Or that is the hope, anyway. Speaking of which, I should get back to my work. Let me sit at home, Lita. Thank you, Doran. I will. You! So, Lita, was it? Yes, ma'am. You guys call him ma'am. Is she that much older than you? Maybe. Well, Lita, <clears throat> you stirred. You, you sure stirred up the hornet's nest here, didn't you? I'm sorry, I don't know. I feel terrible. Oh, I think you can probably blame the elves for this one, rather than yourself. Speaking of which, do you really think an elven spirit spoke to you? A lady with pointed ears that was see-through spoke to me. She said that she was a spirit. It could have been a trick or something, I guess. Ha! That'd be an abyss of a trick. Anyway, no more crying, Miss Lita. We have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna need you to be strong, whatever your role would play in all of this ends up being. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Potato! Why are you holding up, Lita? Well, I'm pants are both statues, so... It, so is Adrian. It's all my fault. I'm not sure you can really be blamed for any of this. Regardless, you will be strong through it all. I didn't raise a cow or a weakling. I raised you. If this is your fault, then you will help fix it. If not, you'll help however you can. And you and I will press on together no matter what happens. Promise? Promise. Get some sleep, my daughter. Hey. Good sleep, kiddo. Hey, he's a good pop. He cares. Ask a question. Where'd you find ring? Can I have one? I like one. Show the picture of ladies. Um, well... Please? Funny <clears throat> when Adrian and I went to explore some ruins in the north. Oh, I see! Uh, there's a reason such things are frowned upon, lady. Exploring old ruins is not a game. Ah, but I would like a ring, too. Well, I could not have anticipated anything like this, no. Me, Doran? Me, you knew if that's not a thing about this. You've always had adventure spirit. I think you were a needle. You've gotten in trouble. Quite a lot. What do I mean for any of it? For, <clears throat> for this to happen? Yeah, I know, but it's not your fault. It, it, it shit happens. Uh, the curse ring is the cause, and uh, I guess you have a matching necklace. What's with you wearing all these cursed items? Uh, yep. Say reminder. Sure. I still feel like I should be waking up from all this soon. Oh, look, it's our, it's our potato. Of course, I've never had, uh, there. Had a dream quite this weird before. Lita, I. Uh, thought you might like to be tucked into bed. Down, down, down in years. It seems fitting tonight. I just wanted to remind you that I love you, and we'll figure this out somehow. Thank you, Potato. I love you too. Try to get some rest. In the morning, we'll see what can be done about this mess. We'll get through this together. Maybe one day we'll look back at all this and laugh. Good night. Good night, potato. I'm just calling potato. This whole thing really does seem like a dream. And then credits. End scene. A few hours later. That is Sari! Hey wondering something. <clears throat> I was shocked if you didn't. Yes, I am very pretty. Yes, I've heard Doran in the and Armony speaking. Is it settled? We're gonna see to these 
airy ruins uh, Lita mentioned? I'd seen some of Doran's old work was about an old shrine there. One of considerable importance to the elves. There's no reason uh, the girl should have known about it. A dream or not, your daughter knows something. We're going to find out what it is. I understand, but is it necessary that she comes with us? I will assist you myself however I can, but Lita... The girl may be young, but she's not half bad with that bow of hers. And we are rather lacking manpower today. You know, people are petrified. We really need your daughter's help. But she's not a warrior. She's a little girl. She's 16. Not even old enough to wed. 16, Edmund, is not an age of a little girl. She has the ring and it's not coming off. That is all there is to this discussion. If there's a way to undo what has happened to Aloria, we're gonna need her. And if we're going to Ari, she's coming. I do hope you've r you've raised her to be strong. So do I. But she'll always be Papa's little girl. The next day. <sighs> Vampire Strong. Screaming! It is hero time music. Vampire! Hi, lady! Stop fighting, old man! Nobody else has to die. Give us a girl with that ring, and that'll be the end of it. Freeze in your base! I'm not giving anything to you! Leave my. Let my daughter alone. Leave! Well, I'm gonna leave. Leave her alone. Wait, other people died? Well, oh! Oh, dude, if you look, old man dead. Old man is dead. Aww, now I can't be. I, I, I can't do funny things with him talking anymore. That sucks. We're gonna that ring one way or another, and we don't need you alive for it. Well, well um. Sorry, uh, miss over there, lady, uh, you just kinda let him get bit. Potato, no! There she is! Charles, you're coming with us, I will spare the rest of these people, you should submit. She will be unable to remove the ring, so do try to leave her mostly unharmed, and we will, we will need her intact. Hey, I was right, he was a vampire. Well, Kinda of stood up pretty easily. Need me? Need me for what? You're with the vampires? Baron, this is your doing? You are a fifth member of Temple or Lane for years. Now you strike? Maybe I can explain after uh, I put a fireball through his chest. I trusted you, bastard. Brooding. Much more is at stake than any of you realize. Put away your magic sorceress. Yep. Yeah, put away. Oh, I can't move. Stasis magic? Baron, you have been capable of this all along? Yep. As there... You guys, get the girl. Uh, so that's the name of Arger, said... said in Oh, yeah. Mister, I'm gonna steal everyone's pets. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but nobody's taking me anywhere. No, I will kill everyone in this room uh, to take you if you force me to. Stop what you're doing. No, you can't win this fight, and you're not making it easier on yourself or anybody else. What the heck? Nope, I just hear uh, drip drops of a cave. Okay, Miss Elven Lady, Lita, listen to me. I know this is a strange frightening, but you haven't been given the power to end it. That yeah, ring was forged with sunlight. Okay. Oh, sunlight imbued. Wait, with sunlight imbued with magic to defeat the shadows, you must use its power to. Yep. 
It's it's not a mood ring. It glows in the dark. All right. Uh, ghost lady, where are you? What, what, what do I do? I don't know why he's summoning Captain Planet. Well, uh, who are you talking to? Just be quiet and go to, just come with us already. Feed the shadows. I don't know what that means, but here goes nothing. Just, you gotta know, just run. We'll keep them busy as long as we can. Take the artifact and flee. Don't worry. She was the power of heart all along! What is she doing? The ring, her powers have manifested already. Yeah, we're, we're leaving now, bye! I am Captain Planet! It's sunlight! How is she doing this? She healed herself! I forgot my umbrella, it burns! Stop making stop! My ears! She must. I don't know what she, I forgot what weapon she would use. Oh, well then I. Oh, I rather assumed you were going to die there, but uh, well, those few times I'm pleased to be wrong. That was the magic of the elves, the power of sunlight. The artifacts of power were forged by it. I expected the powers might manifest in time, but not so quickly. Ah, now I'm upside down. I expected that, did you? Oh, wonderful, because I don't know how the hell... I don't know what the hell is going on right now. Oh, I'm sorry, there's much to explain and no time to explain it. A secret door is in the back room, of, back of my bedroom. Take Lita through it, you'll find a magic circle outside in the grass. The ring will allow Lita to use it. Oh, let's see what I can... Let's see what I can do for the Fallen here. Alright, so I upgrade, I give you stuff, and now you're gonna be gone, I'm gonna get salad. We went over about 10 different theories in our research last night. You really believe your she can fly hypothesis is correct? Yeah, it better be. Now I'll go. I'll explain all this. Oh, excuse me. Ugh, when there is time. Alright, so we got all our party members basically. We've met them all, and. Now we actually get some plot going. But I mean, I still have escaped. There's no the reason I can think of as to why they need lead a life. A sacrifice! Because she has the ring. My head. What happened? Really, I'm not sure, but there's no time to figure it out now. Get over here. Eh. This is how I go now. Let's go. Should be a secret door here. This way. Whee! Wait, can I? Oh, it's gonna. No. I don't know if we'll have battle music now. And I don't know. Like, I get the idea, you know. People have first and last names, yeah. And then the games, you know, you make a character, you give them all their names and stuff, but always calling characters, you know, with their full name rather than just their first name. And it's like, like we know who they are. I, I, I don't see. I think it's like it's just added stuff that you don't need to do when you're writing. I don't, I don't see it. What's going on? Is Daddy alright? Dwarves will do all they can for him. Sometimes vampire bites can't be cured. Sometimes they can't. Can't worry about that now. Thorn has a theory and we're gonna see if it's true. Is that a circle behind you? I mean, of the many circles that we've seen all over the game? You have so many questions, girl. Get out of the circle and just do as I say now. Alright. Now what? You don't like the power of that ring. If Dorn is right, you're about to learn how to fly. Uh. Well, we'll see in a moment. Uh, Dorn explained that these green circles are elven enchantments on the earth. I mean on Arafel. 
You can just say on the ground. Because if we're on Earth, now I'm confused. I would like to generate magical energy, and if that's true, they'll change into a spirit that can float. Now, close your eyes. Because the on the ring is a part of you now, so it's... and so is its power. Because right like you did at the art competition, and uh, just now, to defeat those vampires. I don't feel anything, it's not working. Well, you damn well better make it work, girl. I can promise you that I, that attack won't be the last one we see. Fine. You're doing it. Stay focused. Concentrate. You're a condo for this thing's power. Don't worry, I'm gonna break concentration. We're trying to try to motivate you. Yeah, you're doing it. You did it. You did it. You can only take to the air at these green circles, and that's the only place you can land, so keep an eye out for them. If Dora's right, you can bring others traveling with you during flight. Cool! Press enter or space bar on the green circles to activate this power. Oh, I'm using a gamepad. Fly to the other side, girl. From there, head west. Follow the path through the blood forest and go north. It leads you to the area ruins, and I will meet you there after I have dealt with the injuries of the others from the attacks. Now go, and be careful finding a way to the ruins. As I go this way, Whee! So basically, oh, okay. So I'm above everything. All right. Nothing there. That oh, was rush. Stupid ring isn't so bad after all. Except I probably might die. And everyone else is turned stone. So the answer in in the area ruins beyond the blood force, huh? Yep. Yeah. I'll figure this out for you, potato, and save mom too, and everybody else. I'll be proud of you, potato. If you ever wake up, I promise. Alright. Here goes nothing. Me! You're right after all. We need to use the power of that ring to fly. She's on her way to the blood force now. It will be dangerous. The kingdom of Ari was one of the first to fall to the vampires. They've held it ever since. Dora, I need time to understand exactly what you know and how you know it. What is going on here? I don't know why these people have turned to stone. I don't know why the vampires want this ring and how the how the hell does Baron fit into all this? I need answers to these questions, Dora, and you know something you, you're not telling me. See, there we go again. So, I don't get it. I've been studying this for many, many years. I've written tomes on the subject. I cannot explain it to you in a few moments. We have, we have to spare. Now, trust me, I'll explain all this when the time comes. Alright, I'm going to catch up with the girl. Before you leave, I think you should know that uh, Armini has passed away. The bike killed him. He was a good man, and he died defending innocent people against the darkness. It's how he would have wanted it to go, I think. I think so, too. For now, I intend to stay behind and attempt to cure Lita's father and Simeon, the monkey man. There is still some time yet before they will turn. And I don't feel if I, I don't expect she can get to Ari alone. Do what you can for these people. Despite our differences, I don't doubt that you would come with us if there was another way. That would if, and there isn't. I can only wish you luck, Siri. And uh, it was good. See you again. Oh, it's not the last time. Well, no, we need a full party of four, and you're part of the party of four. I wouldn't hold your breath if I were you. 
Bye. And there's a lot of just calling, you know, like after a while, it's like just regular conversing, like saying the names back and forth. It's like, well, I don't know. I don't see it either. And I get it. And I've written like that before too. And that's not, a lot of things you can just like take out. So it's more concise. But, hey. Eh? It's just my opinion. Oh, Blood Forest is just west here. Oh, I guess there's nothing left to do. We're just going. I hope everyone knows uh, what the heck they're talking about. Sure. It's been a half an hour. So I think this is good to stop the episode, really. Oh, I know where we are. I've been here before, I collected things, and I figured out what the heck all those, all those stones were all about. Oh yeah, this place actually gets me lost. I shouldn't even bother exploring this place. I think I explored everything I could, really. Hi, Stone Man. Yeah, so, thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody!